Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Monsieur Mokolovar, and let us continue playing as United States of Great Australia. So, I had two comments yesterday dictating whether or what I should do regarding our current war in the immediate future after the war. So, uh, so right now we're at war with the Belgrade Pact, if you don't remember. We're winning very well, and we will crush them very quickly now. Bulgaria is part of our alliance, the Donau Eldriabund. However, as I love them as an ally, but Albania is a different question. They are guaranteed by the Bulgarians, and they are guaranteeing the Bulgarians. So if I attack one of them, they're going to support each other. Now, I don't like having people that are neutral, completely, utterly neutral, against me, or even around me, for they may join an enemy someday that we may not be able to contain. So... With that in mind, I do not want to attack Bulgaria, but if the Bulgarians choose to defend Albania when I want to puppet it, then they have made their choice against me. So that is really my next goal, my next step. I want Albania. And from there, once we have this, we have Poland, of course, the Ukraine, and the Russian Empire, the what is left of it, as well as the Finns, in our alliance. This is all very, very good. Very strong, because someday we will have to fight the Third International ourselves. In Europe, they don't look too bad, with France, Switzerland, Northern Italy, the Union of Britain. But they also have Mexico, the United States, which is really the combined syndicate, and a chunk, good chunk of South America. With that in mind, let us continue defeating the Belgrade Pact. Very nice. So we're doing very, very well. Obviously, at this point, our military is looking... Pretty good. Not the best in the world, but we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. I definitely want to use a lot of my puppets' manpower, because even though we are united in the United States of Greater Austria, we have puppets that we can siphon divisions off of, so we can secure our own divisions or our own manpower for something else. And that goes Romanianized. Such as planes, which are only used by your own manpower pool, as well as ships, and I've been thinking we might need to seriously start developing a strong navy. A very, very strong navy. So I really think beginning some sort of run of dockyards would prove beneficial to us. Uh, 80... Yeah, I'll do that first, why not? We'll do that. Coasts, let's see, we've got five divisions that I want to send elsewhere when we're not in a war, which we will almost always be in a war, under Echad Raus, as well as just some Coast Guard divisions, which is pretty good. So, uh, yeah, let's see, let's finish up this war here real quick, like, uh, oh, I'm gonna have to do this. That's good. Uh, I guess I'm not, I'm not really using my tank very much, so that's fine. That, that'll be good. Now they're gonna be really surrounded and die. I really don't want to go to war with Bulgaria, but if I have to, I will. At least we have a tank division. Where are you, my friend? Under Lothar, a very, very skilled general. Level 4. Very, very nice. Can we cut the Serbs in half? That would be great. So if I had to go to war with Bulgaria, honestly, I won't be upset at them because they, they have made a pact with Albania. I'll be disappointed, but I will still give them territory from Romania, including Cod the Relater and probably Constantia. Now, this is what I've been thinking about. So, Romania will be very weakened after that, which is fine with us. Should I take Bessarabia as a... as land? Because, obviously, I'm going to annex Bukovina, or I guess I already own Bukovina, but since we gave that up to Romania in the Velpri, but we've since then gotten it back. However, Bessarabia, should I take that as another Black Sea port? Just so that we are we can be literally connected to our colony here in Krem, that would give us direct access to that, which might be a good thing to do. Might be a really good thing to do. Which would eliminate Romanian uh, naval capabilities, which is fine. I don't really plan on them doing very much. So, that is ultimately my plan. So, you are fighting a division. And honestly, at this point, you guys just go ham. It doesn't even matter at this point. The Serbs are going to fall regardless. We've taken quite a few casualties. But... Not as bad as the Romanians or the Serbians, who are about to fall as well. Uh, yeah, I love divisions. I'm going to take your divisions when I need them. I don't want to just take divisions just for the sake of taking them. Especially you, Italian Republic, when we have potential enemies on that side there. 
And the Kingdom of Serbia has fallen, and we still have doggos here. Hello, doggos. Uh, so. So we pass. I own everything because I am king. King Carl I is so generous. Alright, so. Bulgaria, I will go ahead and give you your rightful territories. I believe Dobrujda, you wanted that as well. That will make you look nice. Romania. Uh, if I take Bessarabia, that will give us a slim access to the Black Sea directly. That actually might be really good. Actually, that would be really, really good. Hmm. Regardless, we'll just take everything we have now. And we'll decide that later. Uh, and I will annex them all. Maybe I will liberate Serbia. Maybe I won't. We'll see what happens. So the next step, of course, like I said, is Albania. So. How many days would that take to go to war with them? That's a long time. What will the Don Kuban reach? Oh, they're guaranteed by the Germans. Ooh. Now, I don't want to go to war with the Germans because they are doing very well holding off the Third International for now, since we left them, since we took our volunteers back from them. They've been doing very well, and actually, it looks like Cherbourg, Cherbourg was invaded by someone great. It might have been the Germans. I doubt it. Yeah, I really doubt it. By somebody, though. So, obviously... As much as I would love to, I would really like a strike here, but that's okay, because we can't. I don't want to strike Greece, because they are part of the Entente. I kind of want to see the Entente do at least marginally well, so they keep the pressure up against the Third International. I want every faction but our own to be as weak as possible, so I'm not planning on attacking anyone who's part of those factions. And that's why Albania is indifferent. Uh, let's see, is there anyone else that we have direct access to that we could attack? Sweden is a potential enemy. Who actually has a puppet of Norway. Maybe I'll take that just because, you know, of course. We we want to expand our influence as much as possible. We want to get as many allies, you know, as humanly possible before we actually go to war with the Third International, because they are literally a global alliance. North and South America, Europe, not so much in Asia, but Asia has problems of its own. So we might actually go to war with the Ottoman Empire instead. Georgia? What about Georgia? We don't have a really good navy, but we... I, oh, no. They're guaranteed by the Germans. Uh, same thing with Azerbaijan. Not Armenia. But the Ottoman Empire has access to them. They might join. The Ottomans might join the Reichsbank. I doubt it, but that might happen. And also right now, I definitely want to abuse my newly conquered territories, puppets, and manpower. So... With that in mind, I'm going to send you guys to the border of Bulgaria, just in case they might try something tricky when we may or may not go to war with them. I want you guys to surround... Actually, you'll, you'll come up here. That'll be good. We'll do that twice uh, with those guys. You never know what might happen. We'll send two armies, though, to fight off Albania very quickly. That'll be good, as we will wait and continue construing our next plan and building our next couple of factories. What are we missing in terms of production? We need more support equipment and medium tanks. Support equipment is key right now. Uh, we definitely need to research some more ships. We have Stradnauts or Knights, but I want to get 1942 ships first if we're going to make anything. Let's see. Some more divisions. Uh, actually, that is... Let's put you here, so that we're keeping all of our puppets divisions in one place. Yeah, uh, let's take you. Go come over here. So these are regular Austrian soldiers. Regular Austrians. 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 Ukrainians. Yeah. And then some more Austrians. Good. And then, of course, Ukrainians. I would like to see eventually, however. Uh... More armies make comprise of only my puppets. Because, you know, manpower is cheap. But not cheap enough for me to say, hey, we don't need you anymore. Ooh, yeah, industry. Better construction, please, and we'll get some better outputs soon. Good, 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 good. I think we're doing very, very well. Even though I would like more manpower. Hmm. Got a lot of army XP and quite a bit of air XP. That's good. Y'all, I'm just 20 width. Three more 20 width divisions. Take one of you, add you here. Good. Uh... Really, I want to focus on the tanks. Let's we can cut this down to let's say eight for now. Let's say eight. See, we really need those eight divisions. We already have seven. 
And eventually we will drain the Ukraine of all its manpower eventually, but then we have Russia we could abuse as well. Oh, you can go up to 30. You can go up to 30 now? Nice. Oh, you already had that. You're a field marshal. Well, regardless, that's still pretty awesome. Cool, very nice. Uh, since we got some time to kill, we might as well try to help out the Germans. You know, I don't want to see them fall too quickly. I mean, we don't want to see them be too successful, of course. Actually, I don't want to waste manpower, right? Maybe, maybe I'll just send some Ukrainian boys to help out. You know, they'll get experience. I'll get army XP. I can send nine whole divisions, and I won't be losing a lot of my own manpower. I mean, sure, my divisions... The Ukrainian divisions aren't the greatest, but it might be an interesting little plan we can have here. Nice. Awesome. Since we're still waiting for things to fire anyways, for like our focus, waiting for war justifications to do well, and two sisters is kicking some serious butt with a lot of German support down here. Holy cow. Oh, time for some more coffee. Very nice. <clears throat> oh, do we have another division? I assume that these are... Okay, that was extremely unexpected. Oh, the Kingdom of Urumra has joined the Reich's Pact. That's extremely unexpected, at least in my opinion, but okay. Cool flex. Nice flex. Weird flex. Yeah, there's not really much we can really do since we're surrounded by people who are guaranteed by Germany. Or they're just major powers. Or they're really weak powers. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll have to go to war with the Ottomans. Get those Turks. Get... Get them out of here. God dang Turks. Thinking they own European land. Do they like us? No, they really don't, so I don't feel bad about that. Very good. We'll take them out. We could... Hmm. If I take out the Ottomans... Should I... Let... I'll let them keep a lot of their territory. Just keep them as the Ottoman Empire. Not, not like, just Turks. Because they could be a really good power... Secondary power... In the Middle East. And how strong are the Ottomans? Oh, they got quite a bit of manpower. Not a ton of factories, though. Quite a few divisions. A few ships. Not bad. Not bad. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, okay, the Fengqing government declared war on the National Protection Alliance. Which is down here. The Deccan Oh, okay. So, the Indian princes declared war on the Bharatiya Commune. Let's see what happens with that. More 20 with divisions. Good. And I'm not worried about anything else because we have one division being worked on in Stiermark for our coast. Oh. Oh no. That's not good. Empire of Japan declared war on the Kingdom of Hawaii. And Hawaii is part of the Entente. So now the co-prosperity sphere is at war with the Entente. And it looks like the Entente is doing fairly well in the eastern United States. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Right, cancel blend lease, that's fine. Uh, we got, oh my gosh, there's so many guns. Uh, we could probably get rid of a lot of these guns, to be honest. Uh, anything less than 500 isn't really worth it. Just switch a bunch of gun production, oh, we don't need that, to support equipment. There we go. That should be better. We, of course, we need more tanks, but we'll always need more tanks. Fighters, bombers, well, we need to really keep up on our research. And we're done with atomic research. Nice. We need better tanks. We need better planes. We need a lot of better everything, but let's get some better output. Output is more important than just a certain model of plane or something like that. You know. Uh, did my divisions arrive? No, they did not arrive. What are they doing? Please. Please go. Please show up. They, they need help. I would advise helping our potential allies. How's Russia doing? Oh, they're doing the Kremlin Project. All right. Hope you're doing the Kremlin Project with us. We are your leader, Vladimir. The Ukraine is looking, doing all right. Skor, Skoro Paditsky. Skoro P P Padsky. All right. Very nice. Very nice. I don't, oh, I guess we can already go ahead and see how strong the German military is. It's not too bad, actually. That's, that's a lot better than I expected. Uh, the new see, KUK army or organization. I don't want to go to war with the syndicalists yet, so we're not doing that. Invite others to join the Vienna Circle would actually be an extremely good thing. Uh, we can get some buffs to us, naval dockyards and stuff like that. Tank trials, uh, planes and stuff, or Kriegsmarine. I really want to do more of the Kriegsmarine, but that's 70 days. I think doing better research stuff right now would really pay off. Invite our allies to research with us. we got nine days left. Let's discuss Romania. 
We're going to liberate them and retain the contested states and liberate Romania. I think that would be the best. Yeah. We no longer have to worry about them. And the new Romanian regime. So now that the Romanian government is a nominally... Well, is a nominally independent nation again, we need to decide on whether the government should be one thing or another. Ministers in our cabinet argue for either two options. The first option is to invite well-known socialite Antoine Bebesco to rule Romania. He's a grandson of the last ruler of Wallachia, and as such bears the title of prince. Since he lacks any real power, he would be a loyal ally, but gives, but still gives some legitimacy to the new regime due to his royal heritage. The other option, of course, is to invite the former regent of Romania, Prince Nicholas, to form a government. He is the younger brother of the former crown prince, Carol, who has refused to rule as a puppet king. Under the former military regime, Nicholas's position as regent was already nothing more than a puppet, so it is expected he won't cause trouble while normally continue the rule of Hohenzollern dynasty. Uh, hmm. Well, loyal ally. He is. You know, I don't want a republic. I really don't think a republic is in our interests right now. I mean, Carol II is going to be ousted very soon. I mean, for example, we have the Kingdom of Poland in our alliance. We have the Kingdom of the Ukraine in our alliance. We have the Russian Empire under Vladimir III in our alliance. Uh, what about Finland? They have. They're under my protection. Even though it says under Russian protectorate, no, they're under Austrian protectorate. Uh, I, I have to go with the, with the Kingdom of Romania. I just have to, you know. Hello, Nicolae the First. Glad to have you aboard, my friend. Glad to have you aboard. Uh, uh, before we do readjust this line, let's go ahead and liberate or continue annexing Serbia. So, to avoid this Occupy bonus, which I'm going to take a bunch of territories from Serbia, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the State Transfer Tool mod. Yeah, this is way too huge. Way too freaking huge. Uh, we're gonna mark the state. And we're gonna mark the state. I'm gonna transfer these territories to Bulgaria. And we'll mark. Let's see. Oh, I got this back, which is good. Uh, hmm. I could annex them. I really could annex them, but I don't think I want to. If I annex them. The, the problem with annexing them is that they will be accustomed to the other Serbians within our borders. We want to kind of separate them off. We might integrate them later. Please let me know below. If you would like to see me annex Serbia directly into my country, leave a comment. If you don't want me to annex them and just keep them the way that is right now, leave a comment. I'm totally open to both. I kind of feel like I should annex them. But for now, I think we'll just keep them under wraps. So I'll keep it like this for now. And we'll say that we're slowly integrating them over time. Which I really hate Kaiserreich to the degree because you can't really lower their autonomy. Which I think really sucks. Mm. I really want to annex them. I really, wa really want to annex them. But we're going to get the event saying, Oh, you can't annex them. Oh, you're going to incur a penalty. Oi. Let's see. We'll do that. We're going to continue surrounding Bulgaria, which we made a little larger. Yes, yes we did. But that's okay. Good. We have to redo. Uh, other time. Keep going on. Uh, okay. So Germany keeps rejecting my soldiers. I thought I sent them, but I guess I didn't. But I, no, I did send them. I definitely did send them. But Germany was like, Nah, bro. We don't. We don't want you here. I'm like, All right. Well, you know, it's your funeral. I would love to support you, but you said no. All right. That'll be good. This will make it a little more difficult for our allies to guard the border when it's even longer than normal. So Bulgaria is looking pretty thick right now. For now. So we got to wait for some time to things get cold over. Germany, I'll try this one more time. If you choose not to accept my men into your lives, so be it. See, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe you have to have a general. Maybe you have a general. Uh, sure. Ezekiel Schmidt. You sound like a proper Austrian boy. Uh, oh, we have to wait till May 14th. Uh, Alright. Maybe they won't... Oh, I think I know what's going on. Maybe I have to send my own boys there. Like, it has to be Austrian soldiers. Hmm. Well, if that's the case. Nine. We're going to pull nine guys off of there. We'll put you under... Who do we have? Ezekiel? Yeah. 
So maybe I can't send volunteers from my puppets to send as kind of a suicide squad to an a, a potential ally. Or maybe I'm just wrong. <laughs> maybe I'm just wrong. Alright, Germany. Well, whatever. I tried. Don't tell me I didn't try. And how many more days do we have until Albania can uh, eat, bite the dust? Oh, we got quite a while here. Hmm. Oh, about others. Yeah, that kind of sucks. We have to wait so long. Well, how's Japan look? Oh, I guess the Mongolians are fighting the National Protection Alliance, as well as the Fengshin government. The Bartia Commune. Have they lost anything? No, they're just having a lot of battles. Ah. Uh, oh. Poland demand request dominion over Galicia. 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 Poland, though firmly in our sphere of influence since the election of Karl Olbrach Habsburg Lothringen, has made an official diplomatic request for dominion over Galicia. Galicia. The Poles have a fairly weak claim to the whole region. However, they claim to Krakow is strong, where the majority of the people of Poles are, and would likely and would likely welcome a return to Poland proper. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I could give them only Krakow, which is a big no. I could give them Stanislaw, or no. I no. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Poland, but... What part of United States of Greater Austria do you not understand? I love you, Poland. Trust me. I, I really do. I really, really do. But that's going to be a hard no for me. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh, we have way too many factories here. Share the love, every man a king, share the love here. We are a loving nation to each other. Not to very many other people, but to, to at least to each other. Yeah, so many dollars, 160 of that. Alright, very nice. Uh, it's, it's, it's a real shame I can't send these boys to help out uh, other people. Actually, can I send you to two Sicilies? I doubt it, I really doubt this. Since this mechanic's a little wonky right now. All but... You two. Um, who has? Oh, you have it. So you, uh, you and you. God dang it! Spit out a save. You two will come here. I'm gonna kick out five of you guys. One, two, three, four, five. We'll come over here. Can I send you boys? Yeah, totally worked. All right, so we pretty much have to wait. So let's just. Try to speed time up as fast as possible for this. You know, we can send volunteers, but at least we can see what's going on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're making some military... Oh, we need to make more military factories. I think, we, ultimately, we still need some more civilian factories to help us produce more, 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 and more. Wow, the uh, areas around here are not very good. Very low in infrastructure. Very, very low. Let's see. Let's take a quick look as we're waiting for things to continue on at the casualties. So they've lost two and a half million. The Germans have, versus the Third Internationals, almost seven million. Holy cow, Germany! You're doing, you're doing well. Wow. The American Union of Socialist American States have over one million soldiers lost. Wow. That's actually kind of impressive. Cancel non-aggression. Cancel. Cancel. J J Japan. Now you best not be trying to fight me. Because there's a reason why we stopped uh, at the Urals. You have this territory, you leave us alone, or I'm going to send my entire military to come kill you. And that includes almost all of the Balkans. So, Japan. Oh, a new tank division! Ooh, I love it. Now we're, now we're, now we're really in business here. So, we'll send the two tanks, if needed. Oops, send you over here. Uh, yeah, Albania doesn't have that many divisions. And with the tanks, we'll put you in this. Your goal will be to get to Sofia, which won't take very long, if we have to go to war with Bulgaria. How are our ships doing? Nicholas Worthy, oh, Siam is, okay. I really hope that even though everyone's doing, canceling their non-aggression pact towards me, that they don't declare war on me. That would not be very smart for them. But you know, I've been wrong before about things. I've definitely been wrong. Yeah. Join the Vienna Club. Our economy must be ready for such undertakings. Yeah. That's fine and dandy. Carl's doing a great job. I hope we don't get his son anytime soon. Because Carl's such a great man. Truly tremendous man. Okay, why is everyone canceling? Oh, there they go. Spain has joined the Third International. F figured that would happen. Everyone's canceling their non-aggression pact. Who? Y'all want to fight or something? 
I I'm actually surprised that Mongolian Kane has not declared war yet on the Turkestan Kane. Oh, and we can go, go ahead and have a good old time with these boys. So, I don't exactly remember who I said to go wherever, whoever, whenever, to go someplace. So, just go ahead. Now, Albania, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry about this. And Bulgaria has joined as our ally. Interesting. So, I was afraid that they would go to war with me, but they're actually at war with Albania, yet the independence of Bulgaria is declared is guaranteed by Albania. And they capitulated. Alright, so. Uh, sure, we'll take that. Um, since no one else has claims, uh, I'm waiting for a peace. Actually, right now, since we're at war. It, uh, how long would it? How many more days does it take before we go to war with you? Oh, it takes like 70 days. How many more days would it take to go to war with the Turks? It's not bad. It's really not that bad. All right, so we're waiting for a peace conference now. They've lost six. Wait, they lost 6,000 guys. We lost literally 12 and a few Bulgarians. Great. Uh, we'll go ahead and take all states. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And they'll join when we. Uh, the Vienna Circle wants to be released then. Good. Uh, the UK. Uh, St. Nicholas Menace. Actually, uh, do I have any bonuses for specific air wing models? That's for air doctrines. Uh, air base, air doctrines, close air support models. Good. I'm actually, I, I really like it when there are trees that give you a bonus to the next type of plane instead of a specific model. Because I always research things, uh, in diff different ways, different times, than what the game really wants you to do. So this is good. We can wait on this. What about this? For our Navy. Same. Fast models, good, good. Oh, yeah, good. Kaiserreich, you got it nailed down. You've done a good job. Uh, do we need uh, austro dalmer industry? That could be good. Research bonus. Mm, let's get some better infrastructure. It takes a little less days than what is normally needed. Uh... We can't do this because we need some more naval XP. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, so we've got that done. Hmm. Our next target, our next, really, who we're going to fight next. Oh, we're going to need some better infrastructure up here first. <clears throat> I definitely need the tanks up here, though. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Uh, you might as well do that. We're going to work with limited resources up here, which is fine. We should be able to have it nailed down pretty darn well. So, I know it's weird for me to attack the Scandinavian nations next, but that's really our next target. So, well, I'm glad the Bulgarians decided to be smart about who their real ally is. So, with that in mind, I don't want to cause too much of a build-up here. Because we already sent some divisions that way. Go ahead and put some divisions on the border with the Greeks, just in case the Greeks might get a little antsy. A little antsy, antsy, antsy. Go. Building up some infrastructure. And we've got 53 days. There's a lot of action going on with all these socialists, syndicalists. Are you still syndicalists? Yeah, you're still syndicalists. You're still totalists, basically. Oh, and Earl Browder. What a bastard. Wh Holy cow, you're on all adult surf and you have no manpower? What happened? Canada? Look at all that manpower you have, and yet you're only on extensive conscription. Oh, uh, I guess you have New England. I never really liked New England. I never saw them as any real use. I don't know why Canada would just take them over. I mean, I guess to a degree, because they have a lot of factories and stuff. But, I don't think that 1930s to 40s New England would really see themselves as an independent nation. Really, anyone in the United States after the Civil War, the first American Civil War. Because, you know, we are, we're going to have a second one sometime here. But that's a discussion for another day. Anyways. Ugh, Veen. I wish I could, like, build up Veen. You know how, like, in our timeline, that, you know, you know Hitler wanted to build up, rebuild Berlin and make it one magnificent, you know, capital or whatever. Why can't we build up Veen a little bit more? We could make, build up Veen as a mega capital, but also build the other capitals, such as Prague... Or, or, I guess, Praha, if, if you're Czech, or Zagreb, or Budapest, into, like, these mini-capitals, like, that are still prestigious, that show that, you know, we're, we're United States. With, of course, Wien being the mega-capital. I think that'd be a really kind of nice flavor addition, so you get, like, maxed-out infrastructure, 
you get all your research uh, not research slots, but like military factories and civilian factories building slots opened. I think that'd be kind of cool. But that's just another, another gameplay mechanic that would add a little bit more flavor. Oh yeah, we need better tanks. Alright, very good. Yeah, actually we can stop trying to kill our ally off. Uh, I don't want to send any more divisions up here. Yeah, there's really not much else we can do. I mean, I guess we could go to war with the Mongolian Khanate, but that would really kind of stretch us thin. That wouldn't really get us very far. Hmm. I don't want to do this over here, because we already have quite a few soldiers, but we need tanks to bust through here. So really, I have a few extra soldiers that can just kind of chill out. So we'll put them on the border over here, and here, and yeah, you know what, we'll put it on the German border, why not? Uh, the, wait, wait, whoa, 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 The Germans have actually broken into Switzerland. Look at this. Absolute mad lads. Keep an eye on this, we've got 29 days. So, the... How weak are you, France? Well, you still got some manpower, you're an extensive conscription. How about the Swiss, the Helvetic Commune? They have a little bit more manpower still. The Germans have actually taken a few territories back from the French. And I'm, really, I'm, I'm really surprised here that the Batavian Commune has not joined anybody yet. That's very, very surprising to me. Extremely, extremely surprising. Oh, man. How many more days do we have until Sweden? Obviously, we'll go to war with Sweden in the next episode, of course, Sweden, as well as Norway. But we might want to jump on the bandwagon here before too long, because... Hmm. If... Peace, a relative Cold War peace, established is established in Europe if the Commune of France falls, as well as Spain and the syndicalist Italians, or socialist Italians, and I go to war with them. Could we divide up the SRI here between the two, Sic two Sicilian nations, as well as my Italian Republic? Like, for example, I would get Piedmont and Val d'Aosta towards the Italian Republic, while Two Sicilies gets everything else. That would set up kind of a Cold War between me, as well as Germany. Oh god, we're actually running out of places to put my soldiers. Hmm. I'm gonna keep you here. I'm gonna put you in, uh, put you under here and call you backups. Uh, I really don't need any more soldiers. Yeah, I'll keep, we'll keep four. Uh, you join him here. Yeah, you really can't do that. Okay, so anyways, well, let's end the episode here. Uh, I'm sure I'll release Albania in the next one. We'll go to war with Sweden. We'll go to war probably with the Ottoman Empire next time as well. They don't have a ton of manpower. They don't have a ton of divisions or factories. And they look like a good next ripe target. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you're new here. Subscribe at least, or at least like, hit the like button for Kaiser Karl I. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue to decide what our next great possibility and opportunities are. Thank you very much for watching.